morning everyone this is lecture six and uh, it's uh, the fourth uh, part of it and again I'm uh, finishing uh, or actually solving a question uh, or actually sorry quiz two for my student uh, in Ajman University and for those who's not actually with us at the university it's a good opportunity to have another uh, plan another simple plan uh, to exercise uh, on it and again this is a quiz two for my second class so in this quiz, and uh, you might note that we don't have, uh, we have actually a plan that based or depend on the existence of a grid, which you find see here in A, B, C, and one, two, three, four, five, and the walls are load bearing walls, and there is no columns in the grid. So when you see the grid, uh, the first step is to draw it, and then you go and draw the the walls based on it. Of course, if you have no columns like this case, and in this case the thickness of the walls is 200 beautiful so let's start first by the grid so uh, I just created here in a document and uh, it's a millimeter system as you can see because the numbers uh, actually big so uh, I'll go ahead and try to draw a line uh, it's important to know how long the line is it's so basically by looking at those number and if just roughly let's say 4 by 4 8 2 let's say 10 and and uh, 3 it's let's say around 13 so you can make it let's say 20 anything bigger than those just don't uh, just not to make it very small and then you need to stretch it again so let's go uh, uh, like a 20 meter so I'll create uh, with FN of course uh, 20 meters so in this case 20,000 uh, double click on the scroll to zoom extend and now I can go ahead and uh, you know uh, open the the plan again and it's a 3200 so offset 3200 and then 2000 and finally offsetting 2900 I'll place a line almost roughly anywhere and then I'll just start 450 so offset 4500 3600 and then 2 and finally uh, 3000 Probably I'll move all those up a little bit and I'll go, go and get create circle. I'm gonna place it here. I'm gonna remove those all from the quadrant to down. And I'm not gonna do the dimension and text and hatch. I'm, I'm gonna explain them later. But that's basically what we need or what we have. I can stretch this a little bit to the right. That's my grid. Oops. Okay. So now we need to create the layer, which I did actually forget. So I should start up with it. So I'll go grids. Making it current. Let's change the color. I don't know something like that and uh, I can go and change the line weight while we here to something thin like this one close that guy and simply select everything because I draw them in layer 0 and that's wrong to fix this you just drop them in the grid layer now a layer again don't forget to load and select the line type And now I'm gonna hit LTS, let's say 100. So LTS, I'll start with 10 and then 100. Yeah, probably a little more, 200. Nope, uh, LT, uh, sorry, 50. Probably LT. 
is uh, sorry it's already the 20 here so now I start to feel sick of the color it's really dark push it a little bit more yeah that's better so that's my line type that's my grid now I'll create a layer I'll call it walls make it yellow for example and uh, change that into continuous and the thickness probably because it's cut let's make it up 135 and making it current and then you know we said that uh, the thickness is for the overall 200 so I have from the grid to offset 100 to the right and 100 to the left so again offset uh, 100 so again that's up that's down I can simply copy those from the intersection as such and then I go filter radius zero with multiple I'll go around the perimeter of this uh, as you can see like that again F and multiple actually I should do this and then flip that like this right right and then this corner and then this corner and as you see probably it would be a good opportunity to get rid of those out of the grid layer so that's why I'm select them and I'm just simply dropping them in the wall layer now what do we have we have a wall go up and then there so which is probably we need to fill it this guy with this guy and then we do trim as such and then probably we need that continuous this guy so I'm gonna trim from here and outside and outside And probably as long as we finish with the grid, it would be a good opportunity for us to go and lock it. That will keep us much more faster when we trim. Like for example, I just go like this. You see, easier without cutting the the grid. You can go ahead, oops, and trim those lines. Don't need that. Neither that so just to clean those edges so that's basically it that's the outside perimeter and the inner partition again the radius is 3 for the outside so F space R space 3000 and then I'll have this guy and this guy for some reason it's huge yeah it is crazy so again F space R space 3000 again too huge offset 200 and I can just simply trim and that's the walls as you can see now the opening and uh, I'll start up from top nothing from the left it's 800 mil from the inside and then 2000 so again offset 800 and then 2000 
extend to that then I'll trim and remove probably now uh, there's almost no need for the grid so I'm turning the layer off good uh, now for any other windows no there's just a door 200 mil by 1000 so again an offset of a 200 mil and then offset of a 1000 uh, keep pressing alt and tab I thought it was like a different program it should be control and tab anyway one four three five by one four this crazy number it's just in the middle of the room but that another crazy number here anyway so one four three five anyway offset one four three five and then the door one eight three zero crazy numbers and they are the same thing to be copied to the middle of this so CO shift and right click and use this trick between this point and this point to send it to the middle of those and then trim them so that's it basically that's the very basic very simple uh, architectural you know uh, opening uh, four of them I can go ahead and start up with the windows and that need a new layer of course and as we done before 50 mil a rectangle removing that copy that And then just the three lines and I'm gonna block that so let's go window 2000 and then plan picking the base point in okay and the door LA again This should the default layer should be one two five, and the same thing for the windows. And making the door current good. So again, offset fifty. A rectangle. Remove this construction line and then copy. I'll draw a line. It's uh, again nine hundred. circle again block that base point now this guy a little bit scary it is actually nothing new nothing clean no clean number in it so how you draw it you need a calculator it's up to you for me I'm a little bit lazy so no calculator for me I'll draw the line I'm drawing f the half of it see I use the midpoint so I draw the line from the inside to the inside then half of it then rotate you know then offset 50 you know easy isn't it now the arc I'll go simply circle from this point to this point now I don't know where this ends so mirror them that's a scary from the quadrant then trim uh, save this this 
and then you get your doors block that let's go and say door double uh, it's a crazy number and then plan big point for the base point and then move that guy to the next place the other opening here oops so that's basically it uh, actually we need another layer here for the hidden oh okay there's a stairs in here all right so uh, it's a 1100 uh, of a dashed line or a hidden line so I'll create a layer and I'll call it dashed in uh, make it the uh, whatever cyan maybe and I'll load the dash that's line type and then load it and probably it needs to be very thin so five maybe I'm making it current close that I think it was 1100 isn't it yeah all around so that's easy so offset 1100 like that and then fill it radius 0 probably we need to fill it multiple to get rid of this boring see now those lines this this and that curve should be placed in the dashed layer you know done nice and easy and the final thing for the stairs so it's almost all of it to 1200 with a gap of a hundred and an overall of uh, 3300 mil so a layer again new stairs current and uh, I don't know whatever color you want as long as it's not been specified 12 1200 okay so zoom in offset 1200 here 1200 here and then offset uh, 100 and then offset of 1200 again and then offset to 3300 now we need a couple of trims in here and now we need offset of a 300 And I'm lazy again, so I'll copy those. You know. Now mirror. And that's it. Oh, you have to select them all. And you have to place them in the stairs layer. And now you see that I made a mistake in the line type. When I created, I was selecting one of those dashed thing. Let's just get it back to continuous. And I probably need to get the grid on. And that's it. That's uh, that's our document ready. Uh, I think it took like uh, a 20 minute or so or something like that to finish this. I wish that you find this uh, video useful. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.